Hi, I'm Todd Porter. Hi, and I'm Patrick Newell, and we're the co-founders of TEDx Tokyo. And before there was even a TEDx program, there was something called TED Salons, and we started holding the TED Salons here in this apartment, uh, TED Salon Tokyo, where we would get together 40 or 50 people from diverse fields who were interested in TED Talks and watch them together. And what we found was that most people in Tokyo hadn't been to a party quite like that. And the energy in the room was amazing. It, we actually had to kick people out at last train and say, for tonight it's over. But there was a real interest in everyone saying, we gotta do more of this. When I first met Todd and found out that he was hosting TED Salon Tokyo, I was extremely excited because I had been attending the TED conferences in California and was really, really happy to hear that there was kind of a TED movement that was taking place in Japan. And in February 2008, TED approved for us to receive a live stream from TED during the 2008 conference into TED Salon Tokyo. This took the level of excitement around TED Salon Tokyo to another level. So from there, we decided, okay, what could we do? How could we take this further? And our timing couldn't have been better because at that time, Ted was looking at how they could go from just a conference and videos to basically spreading these ideas and having many Ted-like conferences throughout the world. So they came up with the concept of TEDx, X meaning independently organized event, but licensed by Ted. We were the first beta model outside of the US. We hosted TEDx Tokyo on May 22nd and we were so pleased with the results. So just like TED itself, we weren't exactly sure how TEDx was going to develop here in Japan, but we were struck by a number of things. One being just the, the sheer joy of seeing what an all-volunteer team working entirely on passion could produce. That alone was very special. In addition, the other goals are to both spread ideas from Japan out to the world as well as bring in diverse ideas from the world into Japan. And so in the launch last year, we accomplished all of those and began thinking even bigger about, okay, now that the launch has happened, how can we really take this further in the second event in 2010? So this year, uh, May 15th, 2010, we will have our second TEDx Tokyo. And last year, you know, obviously with a limited time and our first time, there were some things that we, we chose not to do. One was to have simultaneous translation. So this year we've decided we're going to have a channel in English and have a channel in Japanese. We have also have a lot more time to work with the speakers and ensure that we had more Japanese speakers uh, in our speaker lineup, as well as other speakers that had a connection with Japan. Last year, one of the fun things for us was it, it, 36 hours prior to TEDx Tokyo, we decided to try to kind of do a, a viral social media launch around having a live stream. We were the first TEDx event around the world to have a live stream. Without any publicity, really nothing at all, by the end of the day, we had 3,700 people watching live online. At that time, with people really not knowing what TED was about, and not knowing that we were having a live stream, we were so excited with just that number of 3,700 people. Today, when we look at that and think about that, it's a very small number, but that at that time, it was quite precious to us that we had that many people actually watching TEDx Tokyo online. So we really hope you'll join us wherever you are for the live stream on May 15th in both English and Japanese. Go to www.tedxtokyo.com. Thank you very much.